Well, first off, absolute pleasure to meet you. Thank I've you. Been a huge fan for many, many years. Um, what was it about John's vision that kind of sold you to go back to this? Because I can imagine that you you've done it once, and maybe there wasn't a challenge for you. But well, that's what I him? thought. That's what I thought. I thought you know I was going oh, whatever. You know, there was a little bit of um, you know ownership involved, but but John was very smart. All he said to me was, come over, I want to show you something. And he just showed me the opening. And I was like, oh my God, I thought I could imagine, you know, I, 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 I thought I knew and I didn't know. And it moved me, it, 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 you know, it's as simple as that. I mean, it astonished me, it, it, you know, I thought it was amazing. I was looking at the technology and suddenly I wasn't looking at the technology anymore, I was being moved. And I thought, and, and, and there was a weirdly improvisational quality about the whole thing, you know. And then just talking to John, you know, and once you get past the let's talk about how amazing the technology is and all that stuff, you're talking to somebody who's got a huge big heart and, and who's got enormous respect of, of the work we had done before. So it seemed inevitable that you know, you know, I had to go and do this. I can imagine as well with that, did it kind of open up your imagination even more than you thought with the story? Because you'd seen it once before, and then when you saw the technology, did it kind well, of... No, I, oh I, tell you, I tell you what did, I tell you what did. So something happened sort of in, in between all this, you know, I mean, I, I never left my studio. I was forever moaning about having stage fright. I can't do this, da 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 da. And Johnny Mann Pharrell sort of beat me up and um, basically said to me, one of these days you have to go out there and look an audience in the eye and do things in real time and stop hiding behind the screen. Um, and one of the things we were offered was doing the Coachella Festival. I was going, oh, this will be cool. The desert, drag an orchestra and a choir out into the desert, that'll be fun. But we're not going to do The Lion King. And Niall Ma, Johnny's 23-year-old son said, Hans, just get over yourself. It's the soundtrack of my generation. We are doing The Lion King. And we did, and there's 80,000 grown men and women um, feeling genuine emotion, not sentimentality, but you know, it, it, it resonated. It, it, you, you felt it. And you felt, you felt the musicians behind I felt the mus musicians behind me really, really performing it. And I said to John, okay, if we, if we do this, I want to do it like this. I want to do it like a performance because I don't have to explain to anybody in the orchestra, any of the musicians, why they are playing those notes. They all know. So let's just rehearse, uh, really get it under our fingers and get all the filmmakers in and do a concert. Amazing. Well, I'd be remiss if I didn't ask you about your career, which I've followed um, for many, it's, many years. It's, Gone in the <laughs> um, but you've got, I mean, you carry on doing exciting projects. I know you're working on uh, Top Gun 2, you're working on Dune, which must be fantastic. And I hope, personally, that you work with Christopher Nolan again on his new movie. Actually, I won't, because you I'm won't. working on Dune, no. Uh, it's, it's all right, he's got somebody really, 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 really good. But you've got, I mean, Dune must be, because it's a, a sweeping kind yeah. of epic over two movies. Is that is that strange, going in for, for over two parts, or is it just one thing for you? I have no idea. I just loved the book. I never saw the other movie because I loved the book so much. You know, and Denis and I were talking, we've been talking about it for a long time. He said he's, he's been wanting to make it for 30 years and I said to him, I wanted to make it for 40 years. So, you know, so, so, so I don't know, you know, it's, it's, it's like, um, yes, it's something I always wanted to do and I think everybody gets it. And then this, 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 this weird thing this touring thing that I wasn't going to do, I suddenly find it's actually really nice to look people in the eye and actually play this music and and be surrounded by by these extraordinary musicians. Fantastic. Absolute pleasure to meet you. It's been Thank wonderful you. chatting to you. Thank you so much Thank for your you. time. Pleasure. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey You Guys, huh? Hey you guys, Is yeah. that from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey You Guys.